Hi everyone, um, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sonia Sunhart and I've decided to do a video today for the fall equinox. I realized I did one uh, six months ago for the spring equinox and uh, so much has happened since then. Um, for obviously, <laughs> but um, yeah, so what I'm going to focus on today is the energies of balancing um, our inner masculine and feminine within us, our uh, electromagnetic um, energies, and also in yoga, uh, we talk about Ida and Pingala, which are the two energies that the serpents go up the Shashumna, which is the central column, our uh, spinal column. Um, so yeah, it's a very important um, practice to um, hemi-sync, to bring together also the left and right hemispheres um, so that we can be more, co more coherent and harmonious. Um, this way we are uh, working from a full um, potential, I guess. Um, so yeah, I haven't uh, been doing regular videos, um, I'm still building here. I have my first group of 10 arriving this weekend, so I'm very excited about that. Things are really aligning um, in very organically, uh, slowly building, which is the way I like it because um, I wouldn't want to be overwhelmed. It's already been huge, huge shifts by moving out here and selling my house and just everything to align myself with um, becoming the um, architect, I guess, the designer of New Earth. Um, and as I do this, um, as within, so without, so my inner wellness, my um, health and uh, self-love and self-care has been uh, a priority, um, which is something that I've been aligning with and uh, because as we take care of ourselves we can better take care of others we all know this um, but sometimes as wives mothers sisters daughters uh, um, and I'm, I'm saying that for men as well uh, for I mean the the, fem the giving feminine energy can sometimes be um, out of balance so it's very important uh, to align ourselves with how we're feeling every day, every morning, and then to um, be with our energy. And of course, if you wake up in the morning and you, you're you excited about your life and um, you look forward to, you know, already taking care of yourself, which is what I do in the morning, and then to look at the other things, the chores I need to do to maintain uh, this place, uh, and then to work on building the name and the... Uh, you know, getting getting out there, I guess. Uh, that's what I've been uh, focusing on, slowly. <laughs> um, but having some events here, I had a beautiful event for the Equinox on Saturday, and we're a small little group. And uh, yeah, I did some sound um, toning, um, frequency aligning, so that we can expand our fields. Just beautiful different techniques that I've been learning and developing over the years and that I'm really feeling a strong uh, call towards sharing because I know how powerful these are to help us align. And um, yeah, so um, I just wanted to briefly speak also about uh, these last few days. We've had spikes in the Schumann resonance, very high, high um, frequencies, for example, went up to, I think it was 99, and the uh, regular is 7.83 hertz. That's uh, what the Earth's natural electromagnetic um, frequency is, and that's also the exact same one as our heartbeat, which isn't surprising, just like the bodies of water of Gaia is 70, you know, percent water, and so are we. So we really are these biological uh, beings here. However, we are also um, linked with our cosmic um, ancestors who have uh, seeded us with uh, their own DNA. And um, right now, what's happening is as we're entering um, the galaxy, I know I've talked about this before, and I'm going to post again underneath more information if you'd like to know more about this. But 
the um, crystalline um, kind of uh, higher dimensional frequencies that are uh, occurring right now through the central sun um, and in the plasmic um, electro universe, electric universe that we're in, we are being, uh, the, especially the more sensitive ones, uh, are really feeling these downloads and that's why it's so important for us to be clearing every day our energy fields and also all of the wounds and uh, I know so many people especially with this last full moon in Pisces that were extremely um, agitated and um, you know just really shaken up by uh, by these intense energies and that's normal because everything has to come up now be revealed if these are times of revelation so um, all these ancestral line, lineage, karmic patterns, all of these things we are clearing right now individually as the cells of Gaia are purifying themselves to be able to go with her into these uh, higher dimensional um, realities. So a lot's going on. The old systems are collapsing, but that's outside as well as inside. Um, a lot of changing habits, for example, uh, eating more plant-based diets, which can really help us and Gaia at the same time. So I know everyone's different, has different um, needs and bodies. I'm not saying there's one, you know, one diet, but definitely uh, with these energies, like there's days where I just drink mostly water and eat fruit because I just can't seem to eat that much. And then there's days where I eat more and I notice like I'm fluctuating a little bit with uh, even my weight and things like that but uh, I just accept it as the fluctuation of the third dimensional reality that uh, I was part of for my whole life <laughs> and now these new uh, higher dimensional frequencies that are coming in that I'm aligning with that actually I do want to be um, connected with as I, uh, I already know that I'm ascended on the higher timeline but I'm here to remember that and to and to share that so that uh, maybe it could also give you a sense of uh, more peace with uh, the transformations that are happening. Transformation is natural, and we're in a cycle that um, was prophesied. So the more you can tune into your own frequency and, you know, love and take care of yourself, be gentle with yourself, um, and then with those around you, um, and also, even if you flare up or things, you know, there's forgive yourself quickly and re realign with, you know, bring it back to love. What would love do? How would love, you know, Matt Kahn is amazing when he talks about all this. Um, there's so many spiritual teachers right now everywhere. And um, my part in this whole beautiful design um, symphony that is being created. Uh, it is to offer right now a space where uh, people can go take some time to be with nature and with their own nature and um, connect to their source and hopefully um, get rid of what they what no longer serves them um, so we have ceremonies uh, rituals and things like that um, and also sound healing sound baths um, and all art therapy and things like that so um, beautiful my intention is to uh, regenerate people so that they can actually go back out and be more aligned with um, their true selves their higher self and um, I had my own activation just earlier today I did a an online global meditation with Meg Benedict who is a uh, new earth central I'm also going to post underneath she does these beautiful collective meditations worldwide so the more we connect our energetic fields together, I'm part of several prayer groups. Uh, Kaya Ross, uh, the writer of the Sophia Code, uh, Divine Feminine Leadership. Um, there's just uh, quite a few of them, and I spend, you know, I spend quite a bit of my time in these uh, prayers for our world and uh, Gaia, and uh, I think that's part of my mission here. <laughs> I've been doing it since I got here, so it's a very natural thing for me to do. Um, and yeah, so that's, uh, that's my little video for today. Um, I'm going to pick a card for us because I like to do that. I'm not going to do a full out tarot, but 
I have been learning about the tarot and, and uh, that's something else that I could maybe offer when people come is to do a little reading and see what, uh, what spirit has to say to guide or to give more information. That's all it is really, it's information and it's always there around us, uh, constantly speaking to us if we, if we take the time to listen. So that's what I want to help people do as uh, I've been focused on that. Uh, using many different modalities and also I think from <laughs> not just this lifetime but many others this is what I've been uh, oh okay it's funny this is the one I, I picked it a couple of days ago from the same deck and it was the exact same card so I uh, I know what it's about it's about change and uh, we have a a goddess here a oriental looking goddess with a dagger and uh, some uh, some hot clothes on. <laughs> so change says the lady pictured on this card looks threatening, but in actual fact, she's not. She holds a dagger in her hand and is ready to sever her emotional ties with outmoded ways of thinking or patterns that no longer serve her. Freeing herself from these negative ties clears the way for a positive new beginning. The same goes for you. You must let go of the old thought patterns and beliefs that are preventing you from experiencing greater joy and success. What you gain will be a, a prosperous and inspiring future. Changing your thought patterns and behavior is not always easy and will take patience and conscious effort, but it will be well worth your while. Be aware and open to new possibilities. Let go and trust in the natural cycle of change that is now occurring. What you surrender will be replaced by something far better. You may feel a little unsettled over the coming days, but this soon shall pass and all moves forward with ease. This card is a blessing. This change has the power to transform you. Embrace this most positive time with a knowing that you are making way for something new and exciting. Mm. <laughs> I invite this most blessed change into my life, knowing that it leads to a positive transformation. I surrender all the thoughts and feelings that no longer serve me, and I replace these with love. <sighs> yeah. So I invite you to set your intentions for change, what that change looks for you. You can visualize it and picture yourself in in who you want to be and what you want to be doing and how you feel and um, bring in that love and abundance and um, service to why we're here in the first place, right? So thank you for listening and I wish you all a wonderful fall equinox and wonderful changes ahead. Namaste.